Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Brunel and I hope that you find today's video enjoyable and useful. And if you do, thumbs up. If you don't, <laughs> never mind. And uh, I hope that you do enjoy it. But as per the title, today's uh, video is a review of a wig. My first, yay! And by the way, Happy New Year to everyone. And uh, yes, let's just get back to the video. Um, I bought this uh, wig because uh, of the fact that it's called January and my birthday is in January. Yeah. And on top of that, it's also got a left hand parting, which is fairly unusual because most of the uh, wigs that you'll find will be either middle parting or a lot of them are actually on the partings on the right hand side. The uh, wig is by Free Press Equal and I bought it from a website here in the UK called envisageyourself.com and I'll put the description and the link, sorry, in the description box and uh, I bought it for £27.99 not bad and it's a fantastic website actually uh, they offer free delivery in the UK uh, usually you get your item within 48 hours of ordering it which is brilliant I can't complain about it at all and the customer service is great so with regards to the wig itself it comes in this packaging uh, in this packaging and also uh, this is the picture and the color that I bought that I'm wearing is actually color number OF23033 uh, which has got touches of red in them now normally I would go for something blonde so I decided to try something different and try this instead and uh, yeah it is quite a long wig um, for me anyway I would normally I don't normally go for long hair I normally stick with something like 14 inches but I thought I'd go out of my comfort zone since this is my first wig anyway so I thought I'd give it a try and now I have to wear wigs now it's going to be uh, wig reviews are going to become a regular thing because for some time I'm uh, in, you know embarking on a on a kind of hair treatment intensive hair treatment I've damaged my hair and on top of that as well with the stroke that side feels really painful so I can't have a single plaits at all so wigs are going to be the way to go for quite some time uh, until things are settled down cross fingers um, and so I'll be wearing wigs to so say I'll bring more reviews as I go along now I haven't seen this color online so I decided to buy this color so if you are my type of coloring uh, at all and you wondered if you know wanted to see whether this will work then I've done the work for you I think it's actually it goes quite well um, and uh, I'm very happy with it. Uh, yes, now let's just talk about the wig itself. Um, when it comes with the, the parting, you do have to pluck the parting. Um, plucking it took me probably about a half an hour with a pair of tweezers. It was my first time plucking any wig, so I had to take my thumb plus this hand as well. Uh, it's a bit more still stiff and very difficult. So it took some time, but once it was plucked, it was nice and easy. Uh, all I did then was put uh, my um, finishing powder that's the l'oreal true match finishing powder this one and this is in the color 10 w and i just put that here along the parting as you can see after that uh i i then just use a little bit of mousse uh, to sort of tame it down a bit i do like the curls i mean it just feels lovely it's not too too shiny uh which i would hate uh, and on top of that uh, as well it's uh, it does get tangled now because it's long this is going to get tangled so i tend to brush it evening stick it on the mannequin leave it alone overnight uh so that's the way i try and look after it but it will get tangled up i haven't actually had a lot of shedding and i've had this for about a week now so i haven't experienced a lot of shedding but inevitably because it's a synthetic wig i'm sure that it's going to happen and also the cap now the cap itself it comes with two, three combs in total two on either side of the parting there and then the third one is at the back uh, and some a quite large one now with regards to the size of the cap itself I wouldn't say it's a small head friendly but then again I've got a tiny tiny head so <laughs> anything standard wouldn't necessarily fit on my head anyway but I had to hook the straps all the way on, across each other so, um, so and, and the hooks themselves to make it as tight as possible and then on top of that I then had to use some pins just to make sure that everything's nice and really fully secured 
so that's what I had to do. It's not too much of a high maintenance at all. I actually do like this. The more I've worn it, first time I was like, oh, but might, I think I'm always because it was a wig rather than anything else. But it is lovely. And I'm five foot three, so I'm a short ass, as my mate will call it. Good things to come in small packages. But um, it cut, it's kind of really long. So I'm five foot three, and this is the length that you can see here. And then I'll show you the back. Hopefully you can see that. And I'll fall over. My old feet. Uh -huh. Clumsy, clumsy. And so, yeah. But I think it's actually quite a nice wig. I actually like it. And there'll be more coming up shortly. But uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this. And uh, that you like the colour. And let me know what you think. I think it's uh, not bad. Not bad at all. And the parting will get a lot better. I'll get better at it anyway as I, as I go through. But it's my first attempt, so what do you expect? Yeah. I hope you like it, and I'll see you very shortly. Bye for now. See ya. Bye.